Yo, your mother's big blocky in 2D. Burn! That did not come out right. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, yo guys, what's up? It's Dave from Oaks Gangster. So, spin a big blocky in 2D. It is possible to play Minecraft on your Android phone, as you all may know by now. <laughs> um, so to get this working, it's very simple in just a few steps. If you have Xperia Play, then don't even watch this video because you can just go to Android Market and download the Minecraft application, which was optimized for the Xperia Play. As simple as that. For the rest of us, we have a few steps to get this working. So first, you'll need a phone with at least a one gigahertz processor. So if you're still rocking your old G1 or Aria, this may not work so swell for you. <laughs> and next, you'll need an SD card with at least 30 to 50 megabytes of free space available on it. Once you have all that, you're ready to get it started. So. Without further ado, let's get this started. Okay, step one. Download MindDroid. MindDroid is an application that allows you to play Minecraft on your phone. So we're going to do a simple Google search and type in Mindroid. Then go to the first link. Then let's go to Downloads, the Download tab, which is available in the upper left-hand corner. Then go to the Mindroid APK and proceed to download it. Mindroid. Okay, so once that downloads, proceed to install it, install, and click done. Don't open it yet because you have no worlds yet to load onto there. Okay, step two. Now that you have downloaded Mindroid, now you need to download a world so you can run on Mindroid or Minecraft, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you have Minecraft on your PC, then you can transfer an existing world from there to your phone. If you don't have Minecraft on your PC, there is still a way to download the world. So, we're going to use, once again, Google. And type in Mindroid. Mind, sorry, Minecraft. World Download. Okay, so like I said, you can use any world you want to, and if you have a pre-existing world that you play in Minecraft, you can use that. I'm going to use Minecraft World Exchange to download the world, but you can use whatever floats your boat. And I'm just going to go up here to download a world. So I'm going to download this cool world called Fun in the Desert by Rocky028. So Rocky028, thank you. You did a good job in this world. Okay. To download it, I'm going to go to save link. And it is currently downloading. Okay, step three. Now that you have downloaded your world, most likely it's in a zip file. So what we need to do is extract that. So you can use any file browser of your choice. I'm personally going to use Root Explorer. However, a file browser such as Astro or ES Explorer works just as well. So I'm going to go to Root Explorer and go to where I downloaded my file at. Okay. And now I'm going to go down to, or I'm sorry, go up to Extract All. So it's extracting to the archive and go to Extract It and I can see it's there. So once you extract your zip file, you can now run the app and it will automatically find it. Now all this can be done via PC as well. I just chose to do this through the phone altogether, but if you want to, you can do this whole operation from the PC. So upon open up Mindroid, let's go to Scan for Worlds. And it may take a minute or two, so give it that time. Okay, and it found my world found, uh, fun in the desert. If it did not find your world, be sure that it is extracted and it is on your SD card. And it is a valid world. It has the necessary files like the level that that file inside of it. So, we can open this up. 
And whoa, look at this. We are in Mindroid on our device. So let's take a look at the gameplay here. So honestly, I'm not a big Minecraft fan. So <laughs> that's <laughs> how that goes. Uh, I do find it somewhat entertaining. Kill time. So on here, uh, your right little pad, I guess you can call it, touchpad, is to look around. The left one is to move. And this little rectangle at the top is to jump. You know, I'm inside, so I can't jump right now. Oh, there we go. I'm jumping. Okay, so to lay down bricks or blocks or this stuff, you just click a space. And it lays it down right like that, nice and easy. And that's very simple. Now, to destroy blocks, it's kind of a little more difficult. At least I, well, not that much. You just kind of hold the block and it disappears. So let's run outside. Oh no, get me out of here. Die, die, die. I love doing that. Okay. Um, so we are outside. This world's kind of very <laughs> lonely and abandoned. Uh, and you also have your other tools down here. Right here, your, your sword and all that other stuff. And yeah, that's basically the nature of the gameplay right here. If you're a Minecraft fan, I'm sure you will highly enjoy this. So this is a classic version. This isn't the up-to-date latest version, just to tell you. So obviously there is no multiplayer, unfortunately, on this version as well. Wish there was multiplayer. That would make this epic. But you can still get a Minecraft experience on your phone, which I think is just truly amazing that the app provides you with that. Oh, shoot. Jump up there. Wow, this is so entertaining. I could do this all day long. Oh, super box. And, oh, great. Now I'm stuck. And before we go, let's take a look at the settings menu. The settings menu provides you with very rich options. So we have block view, and this basically you can customize your camera, the look of everything, um, your interface player, and obviously I'm reading it right off from here, but you can customize everything and even have your accelerometer control how you move and all. Um, and even how far the distance the blocks that you reach, the blocks that you don't reach. So you have a lot of customization when it comes to how you play this game. And sky color as well. And then you also have the this logic stuff right there. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. But morally, I, I've played around with these settings. And you have a lot that you are able to customize. And we'll go to, back to apply. So other than that, this is really a cool, neat thing to do. And just because you can. And definitely future development on this will make this even a better application. Or at least once the official version comes out for more phones other than Xperia Play. This will definitely be more exciting to get into and just to have that experience. So yeah, thanks for watching and well, <laughs> tune in for another galvanizing video. Bye bye. Block 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 block. It's big, it's blocky, and it's 2D. Your mother. That wasn't funny, was it? Didn't think so.